Hi there. Thought I'd take a quick moment again to go over creating a background effect uh, for a tune tune sign. Um, I'll try my best to get it right the first time, but if I make any mistakes, please look in the description or in the comments below for any corrections. I just want to get a quick video out on how to do that. So first of all, I start a new playlist. Just click done. That'll create an animation. I'm going to use my matrix because my tune two is a kind of a dumb little thing. It's uh, you know just basically has the numbers on it, so it's kind of boring. Many people have a better matrix than that, or or a mini uh, prop uh, such as a GE prop or a, a Boscoyo prop. Um, chances are you may have uh, uh, sub models to do some of this work, but I don't have sub models in my matrix for this, so I'm just going to add a couple of layers. Going to drop a marquee effect down there. Put that there. Control Shift left arrow, right arrow, expand it out for the full 30 seconds. It really doesn't matter how long you make it. You can make it longer if you need to. File, sequence settings, um, 30 seconds is the default. If you want to make it a little longer, you can. Just, it'll just repeat over and over, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to drop a text effect on there. Text, text, text. Where are you? There you are. Again, drop it. I'm going to drop that on the first layer. Um, control shift, left arrow, right arrow. Um, I'm going to put in my tune to, I actually use a file. Um, you don't have to do this, um, but you can, you can put a file in there if you want. Uh, that way you can dynamically change it if your tune to changes. Um, but uh, leave that for you. If you want to try that out, you can. Um, I think I can. So I'm going to do tune to, I think I'll do, I'll show you here. I'm going to right click halves, top half. Here's the top half. Going to um, go there, add another text effect down below it. Control shift, left arrow, right arrow. Put in 90.1. I'm going to put that in the bottom half. I'm right clicking on this thing. Halves, bottom half. There's the bottom half. Close enough. Looks like that font is a little squishy, so I'm just going to space it out to make it look half decent. You can, of course, choose uh, different fonts. If, if this says use OS fonts, then this font box. Uh, is in, in control and it's going to choose anything that's on your OS, on your Windows box. If you use these fonts down below, these are built-in fonts. Sometimes they work better for smaller uh, matrices and such. So I'll just show you both options. You can use either one. And I'm going to add one more layer here just to show you what you can do. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want. Throw some snowstorm in there. A little bit of left, oop, left arrow, right arrow. Just some, just some snowflakes or... Uh, Whatever you like, you can do. Maybe I want snowflakes instead. Something like that. Whatever. <clears throat> you get the idea. Anyway, I'm going to save the sequence. Actually, yeah, I'll save it. So I'm going to call it Tune 2. Call it that just so I have it if I decide to make any changes to this. Now, what I want you to do is uh, click the render. Now, again, I may have extra steps in here. I don't, I don't know exactly the minimum steps but this is basic render save now what i want you to do is come back here right click on this model render and export up here in the background uh, in the in the drop down choose a uh, compressed eseq that's an effect sequence i'm going to put this and just change it to tune to because normally you would put it on your tune to not your matrix again the name is not really important it's just a, a placeholder um, I'm going to put it into my show folder and I uh, think that's good. There we go. So that's it for, for X lights. Now you got to put it into your uh, FPP. Um, there is a video from Keith from a number of years ago on how to do this with a, uh, with X scheduler, but I'm going to stick with FPP. Um, that seems to be what people are using these days. So I'm going to start up my FPP again, ignore all this red stuff. This is really my test instance. So it's not really hooked up to anything. Um, so I do have some extraneous errors here. So just ignore those, uh, content center file manager, click on effects just so that you get it in this. This is really just a filter. It really doesn't matter which one you're selected here when you, when you go to upload it, but, um, uh, this way, you can uh, uh, you you can see that that it's uploaded properly. Where did it go? Where did it go? Date modified. Show folder. Uh, let me go back here. Can't find it. 
And I did a render and export. I apologize for this model. Render and export. It went into, sh oh, it went into my last year show folder. That's why I couldn't find it. One second. Yes, drive. 2022. Show folder. Date modified. 2 to open. There we go. Grab it from my 2022 show folder. Uh, now, as you see, it shows up here perfectly. So now, now that it's on here, it's a background effect, or it's an effect, I should say. Let's schedule it. The, the easiest way to schedule this is using a command preset. Command presets are sort of built in, uh, hence the word preset. Um, we're going to add one. If you click on this thing, you'll get a choice of which preset you want to tie it to. We're going to tie it to the playlist started. So every time a playlist starts, so your show starts, this command will fire off. We're going to fire off this command. It's going to be an effect start. Notice I'm using effect start. If you want it to play on a remote, because that's where the Tune 2 is plugged in, you probably want remote effect start. And you would do all this on the remote. You would, well, you do this part on the local machine, but the loading of the effect should actually be on the remote. At least that's how I understand it. So effect start, click that. You get a drop down. It knows the effect name because we uploaded it. It basically looked in the directory and said, what is the effect name? Um, I'm putting start channel one in there. I believe that's how it works. Uh, it could be left blank even. I'm not sure. And background and if not running. Um, you can tie it to a model um, if you've got your models uploaded. So FPP connect. Um, you would have to make sure that Tune 2 was uploaded. I'm on my test instance here, so I don't have the models loaded. So I'm just going to accept this changes. And you could run it now to verify that it's all working. Um, I, I don't have it hooked up, so I can't do that. But feel free to click run now. Make sure that the effect starts. So effect accept changes. And one more. So that starts it. We're going to now we're going to shut it off. And it's uh, whenever the playlist stops, we're going to do this. Now there's effect stop if you want to stop just this effect, or you can use like this wild card one that says stop everything because the playlist is over. This is more of a, a wild card, easier to use this one. So I'm going to just use that one instead. That's it. So once you have these two steps involved, as soon as your schedule says start your Monday night playlist, this guy will start immediately play your tune to over and over and over again. And then when your playlist is done at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock or whatever, it's going to stop your tune to sign using the effects stop command. So that's it. Save that. You're all done here. When it is running, you can go to status control effects and you will see it running here. So you should see the tune to running right here when you, when you, uh, when you, uh, when it kicks it off from the playlist. So uh, that's it. Five minutes. You got your tune to running in the background running all night long. If you decide to make any changes, because you maybe you change your station or whatever, you just come back in here, change it, uh, render and export like I showed you, and re-upload it. Don't need to change the command presets. That's all set to go. It's going to find the ESEQ file that you loaded up uh, and refreshed with a new value. Hope that helps you out there getting your background effect tune to working. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the the uh, space below. Uh, search us out on the uh, Zoom room at xlightzoom.com. Be sure and like and subscribe as they say for these YouTubers out there. Have a great day. Bye.